Hey, welcome to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad, and this video is not going to be like most of my videos, which are kind of how to videos. This one's just going to be me moving a bunch of square bodies around. I've got to make some room in my lean to here. I've got just trying to move some stuff around and reorganize my junk. Uh, I'm going to see if old Squeaky will start. Some of you may or may not recognize this truck. He's my little 305 four speed truck that I play with at the drag strip. Uh, haven't actually started him in several months. He's just been sitting there. As you can tell, he's there's no grass growing underneath him. He's been sitting for a while. I've got to move that step side, which is, I hear you, which is my oldest son's truck that's been sitting in the same spot for the last what, three and a half years since we moved here. I'm gonna move it out. So I got room in there to uh, put some other stuff not sure what yet but i'd like to have that open hole and that lean to uh this is a truck that you guys haven't seen yet uh this is one of my other son's trucks that he got uh that was his late grandpa's his grandpa passed away this last year and uh this was his old farm truck it's been sitting for a long time too probably close to seven or eight years it's uh nothing real special just no one ton that he pieced together uh his grandpa was a square body guy back before it was real cool. Uh, he would he built several of them back in the day, probably 20, 30 years ago. He pieced this one together, and at the time it was it was actually a slick truck other than the paint, but it was all rust free. He had a rust free cab, rust free front clip. I'm not sure exactly what year it is, but. Just got a 292 straight six and a four speed and I believe 456 gear. So it'll pull about anything. It's just not gonna do it fast. I gotta move it. Probably gonna move it over there somewhere. This truck has been on the channel before. Uh, we call him Frankie, cause he's been a Frankenstein. He's actually another one that uh, the kid's grandpa built years ago. It was just an old farm truck. It's a 77. My youngest son, uh got it and was gonna do something with it and between school and graduating and getting a job and everything he just kind of lost interest in it for right now uh, old big nasty he should run he ran the last time i messed with him i uh, gotta air up some tires hopefully he'll move under his own power but if not i'll just hook him up to the tractor and drag him somewhere because all this fence right here is coming down. I gotta cut these trees down. I've been meaning to do that for the last four years, or three and a half, four years that we since we bought the place. And now that they're bigger, it's gonna be a little bit more fun. But I'll get it done. I just gotta get all this junk moved out of the way. Because um, there used to be a fence, fence post right there, and a gate right here, and fence going around. And I put a new corner in. I'm gonna put all new fence up and actually grade this down a little bit with the tractor and make it a little better, a little flatter area. Just trying to do some stuff around the place, move my junk around, uh, kind of reorganized it. Still don't look very organized, but it's better than it was. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. If you care to stick around, see what happens. Never know what's gonna happen when you're doing this stuff. Uh, we've got to see. If make sure squeaky runs hopefully he runs uh, but stick around see what happens uh, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that no critters have taken up residence under the hood well pretty much the way I left him 305 in all its glory I'm not sure not sure if he'll start or not and I'll jump in there and see if we can get this thing cranked over. Let's see if it'll start. Now we got oil pressures.
now we got them in the shop i'm gonna take these wheels and tires off my drag tires and put the street tires back on him for the winter time not sure if i'm gonna drive him much because he don't have a heater but uh i might drive him every once in a while but i don't need these tires getting getting dry rotted sitting outside they've sat outside long enough i should have had them changed out earlier but maybe get some leaves cleaned out of them poor little squeaky just been sitting but at least all the tires are holding there i'll get them switched out real quick and i won't bore you with the details of that and then move on to the next truck out of curiosity let's see if the line lock still works might be enough playing for now before I tear something up more than the grass but I think I'm going to work on getting this step side dug out that's in the lean-to and try to find it a home but I know where I'm going to put it uh, get it dug out so I'll get the tractor fired up get everything moved around I'll probably just keep the camera rolling in case something cool happens and you never know, might tear something up and give you guys a good laugh. Alright, hopefully you can hear me over the tractor, but if you're squeamish or the faint of heart, you may not want to watch this. But this is how we get stuff done around where I'm at. It may not be pretty, but I think it'll work.
Well, I got four of the five square bodies I wanted to get moved. So, not a bad day. I still need to move my my rock crawler, the old blazer. But it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, and I got to go down to the neighbors and load up some calves. We got to take some steers down to the sale barn this afternoon, so got to cut it off. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this, wasn't much of entertainment or learning value. It's just me doing square body stuff, just moving square bodies around at this point. Uh, but nothing got hurt, had a little bit of fun, and dogs tormenting the cat. So we'll cut it off here. Till next time, y'all keep your square bodies rolling, and we'll catch you later.